did you know? Let's talk about muscle. At the highest level, did you know that muscles of the human body are of three different types? And they are the skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles, and smooth muscles. Did you know that skeletal muscles are attached to bones and cartilage and help in movement, posture, and provide support to the human body? Did you know that cardiac muscles are found in the heart and are responsible for the pumping action of the heart? These cardiac muscles are also involuntary, which means we have no control on these muscles. Lucky! Did you know that smooth muscles are usually found lining the insides of different organs such as the liver, pancreas, stomach and contain glands and cells that secrete different kinds of digestive juices. Now these smooth muscles are also present in other organ systems such as the respiratory system and the reproductive system. Did you know that these smooth muscles are also involuntary muscles, which means that we cannot move them on our own. Muscles, smiles and frowns. Did you know that it takes 17 muscles to act together to bring out that smile on your face? Whereas it takes about 43 muscles to show a grim face. So it certainly makes sense to smile more than frown. It certainly takes lesser energy to move 17 muscles. Did you know that the human body has about 600 muscles? Now you compare that to 206 bones in the human body. Did you know that the muscular system estimates about 40% or probably even 50% of the total body mass? Distribution wise, the muscle cells occupy 75% of body cells. Now approximately one fourth of the total body protein synthesis takes place in the muscular system. Wow! Did you know that the largest skeletal muscle of the body is located in the hip and buttocks and it is called gluteus maximus? Did you know that the smallest muscles of the human body are present in the inner ear? The tensor tympani and the stapedius are two muscles present in the inner ear that connects to the eardrum. These muscles, the tensor tympani and the stapedius, also help to connect the eardrum to the inner ear. And that's how they help us hear all the sounds around us. Did you know that some of the strongest muscles of our body are present in the jaw. And these jaw muscles are so important because we have to eat food. And some of our food can be really tough. Makes perfect sense to have some of the strongest muscles in our body in the jaw. So some of the strong muscles in the jaw belong to a group of four muscles that are responsible for chewing movements and mastication. And these are known as the temporalis, the masseter, the internal and the external pterygoid, and the digastric muscles. Now, 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 let's look at some busy muscles. The busiest muscles in humans are the eye muscles. You can only imagine that the eyes have to move 
continuously with the help of extra ocular muscles in order to keep a sharp focus, in order to keep a sharp vision and clear vision. The other busy muscles are of course the cardiac muscles, the muscles that help the heart pump blood all over the body, as well as the muscles that make up the diaphragm, the diaphragm that goes up and down and helps us take in air and breathe air out. What about the longest muscle? The longest muscle in the body is the sartorus. The sartorus is in the leg and is found running down the inner side of the thigh in an oblique fashion. It is a synergistic muscle that is involved in moving the hip and the knee joint. Typically, that helps tailors move the pedals of their sewing machines. In the muscular system, skeletal muscles are connected to the skeleton, either to the bone or to connective tissue such as ligaments. So muscles are always attached at two or more places. Now did you know that when the muscles contract, the attachment points are pulled closer together and when it relaxes, the attachment points move apart. Did you know that muscles make up the walls of many organs, such as the elementary canal, the esophagus, stomach and the intestine, the gastrointestinal tract if you may, which includes muscle tissue that contract and relax to move nutrients through the digestion process. Did you know that the urinary bladder as well includes muscle tissue that contracts and relaxes to hold and release urine? Muscles in the walls. Now smooth muscles in the walls of arteries also help move blood throughout the body. Can you imagine blood vessels without smooth muscles? The blood would just stay there and be stagnant. Did you know that skeletal muscles are built mainly during sleep? Yes, of course, exercises work towards skeletal muscle strength and building up muscle. But it is during sleep that skeletal muscles actually grow. So, when you're in a deep sleep mode, all those hard-working muscles of your body can finally relax, allowing more blood circulation, allowing more nutrition. In addition, hormones are released during sleep that contribute to the repair and restoration of tissue, muscles and the body.